Hello, Shoestring here. There's been a lot of talk recently about mini batteries. Just supposed to be smaller, but the same power. Several of the viewers have asked that I look at one. As you know, I do batteries that are inexpensive, also called cheap. But I wanted to start the mini out with one that was fairly familiar. So I got a Wise battery, which is in the inexpensive, but the company is fairly well known. We're unboxing it now, have bolts that go with it, and caps. Looks like a user manual right there, which always come in handy. Let's open it up, see if it's readable in English. It appears to be, all right. Some basic information, I'll let you see that page right there. So you can always slow this down and look at it if you want to. Dimensions are gonna be important because this is supposed to be a mini, smaller in size, but same capacity as a regular 100 amp hour battery. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. Of course, the battery itself. Let's go ahead and pull that out. All right, there it is. I can already just see without measuring, which I'm going to am going to measure, that it's smaller. It says it's a wise battery. It says what type it is, and like I said, a hundred amp hours, twelve volts. Let's take a look at it. It has instructions on the top about how to do it in parallel or in series. I have done a video on how to do parallel and series, so feel free to take a look at that. I'll put it down in the description. Uh, the handles, I like handles much better than the regular strings you get. I like handles, they're nice. Has the caps. Go ahead and exchange them real quick with the bolts here. And the battery is not, by the way, very heavy at all. Um, when I take it in to do the computer testing of it, and then once I do the computer testing, we'll come out here and actually test it for real using real life situations. Normally, I use fans to see if it will actually do 100 amp hours as it says it's supposed to. It shows you different battery connections. Fully charge the battery first. Of course, we're going to do that before we test it. And that's what it looks like right there. Nominal voltage. And then capacity, which we knew. Watt hour, which is simply multiplying those two numbers, tells you maximum charge, operating temperatures, and of course the standard do not, what not to do, right? And made in China, but they're all made in China. So we'll take this in, we'll charge it up, then we'll test it in the lab, then we'll bring it out here and test it in real world conditions, and I'll show you that shortly. Now, I have unboxed this Wise Mini, the first Mini that I've actually done a review on. We did the unboxing, and I've taken it to my little computer room, and we've checked out the battery capacity on the computer. And it actually worked quite well. It did over 100 amp hours. So what we're going to do now, as I like to do, is test this in real life conditions. I have the battery here with alligator clamped, as you can see. It's hooked to a little pure sine wave inverter, a very inexpensive one I got from AliExpress. And I've hooked it up to a kilowatt and two fans. We're going to turn it on. And we have 13.3, which is the battery at rest. We charge it all up and let it rest. I'm going to take a look at our kilowatt numbers here. And it's zero. That's what we want. What I'm going to do is set up these two fans 
And I use fans because this is what a lot of people will use when they're actually using a battery like this. You won't have it down hooked to your laptop seeing how much will come out. You're actually going to be using this in real life. Fans, air conditioners, refrigerators, all types of things you're going to need when the power goes out. And that's what this entire solar thing is really about. How you keep power when the grid goes down. So, I'm going to try to pull as uh, close as I can to 100 watts. And then this should run between 10 and 12 hours because it's 100 amp hours. I say between 10 and 12 because we're going to have some power loss because of the inverter. And the inverter is going to stop it around 11, 9, 11, 5. And we'll see what happens. Let's turn on the first fan. Okay, don't know if you can hear that or not, but it is running. The large fan obviously already had it turned on because it started, which is fine. Let's go ahead and turn it up a little because we want to get it to 100 watts. And we're at, what, about 87 now. Let's go ahead and turn the other one up a little. They're both on medium. 89. All right. Need to do another one. We will. And there we go. Okay, folks, we're back. It has been six hours since we started. And we're still running it right around a hundred watts. So, and we're at 12.7, so everything is still running extremely well. Batteries all hooked up. And while we're running this, let's go ahead and talk about this battery a little bit, since I haven't done a mini before. It says that what? It has overcharge protection, discharge protection, current protection, short circuit, and over temperature. I think that stuff you find fairly easily in most of these batteries. I have noticed it is 25% smaller than their standard 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries. When you measure it out, it's 10.24 inches wide and 8.27 tall and about six and a half deep. It also will discharge, it says, to 100% of its capacity which, of course, we're not going to be able to do today because the inverter is going to turn it off before it gets that far. It does say it has 2,000 cycles. So, 2,000 cycles, and you take that and you do 365 into that, it comes out to a little bit more than five years. So that will be discharging the battery entirely and then recharging it entirely, and it will still, after five years run about 80% of capacity, and that's pretty good. Oh, and I weighed it for you, and it's around 21 pounds. So what can you use this for? Well, something small like this, you can use it for camping, if you do RVs, boats. I'm going to be using it for one of my solar backup projects. It also has, of course, 1280 watt hours, because it's 100 amp hours. Assuming it passed the test, but it looks like it's going to, Sometimes people ask, what can you do with that? What can you do with 1,200 watt hours? Well, if you have an appliance that's 100 watts, it'll run it for 12 hours. If you have an appliance that's 600 watts, it'll run it for two hours. And if you have an appliance that's 1,200 watts, it'll run it for an hour, just to give you an idea of its capability. Okay, so now we checked the kilowatt, and we see that it's still running. We're going to come back in 12 hours and see where we're at. See you then. All right, folks, this is already past our test. It has been, it's still right around 100. The inverter says 11.2. And our kilowatts say it has been 11 hours, 25 minutes, and it is still running. So, 
considering the energy loss from this cheap little inverter, this has already passed this test. And I'm going to let it keep running. Just so I'll know, I'll put it down in the description at how long it's really going to run. So this battery, even for a Mini, is doing an excellent job. Actually, it's doing better than I thought it would. So if this is the size that's going to work for your system, if you're going to have it in an RV or trolling or in a boat, whatever you're going to do, if this size will work, then I'd say this is probably a pretty good buy. Anyway, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, share. And if there is something else you would like me to review, please put it down in the comments. Okay, shoestring out.